Now we almost forgot. Before we can put the carburetor on, because the gas line is here, we gotta plug this in. We gotta assemble our handle. It's not difficult. The hard part's gonna be just get this rubber hose up in here. And there it is. There's our throttle. So you have to line up your rubber mounts. They can be kind of dicky when they're new, like some of them are, and put your screws in. We'll use this fancy guy right here. I'm just going to get these started and get them all started before I tighten any of them so you can jostle it around a little bit. Especially since that one over there on the other side also holds a very important part, the chain catcher. Nice tight rubber parts. Don't want to move. You got to influence them a little bit of brute force. It's starting to look like a chainsaw power head now. And it'll tighten. Did we not put one in there? Uh, looks like we didn't. Ah. This one is going to get the chain catcher, which I have a brand new one. Tighten the rest of these down first. Chain catcher. Stupid little aluminum thing right here. When the chain comes off the bar, which it does, especially on one of these long bars, it catches on this little guy which goes here and keeps it from doing that and that. That's for me not having one on there ever. So, not a good idea to not have it on there. You can see how much I can move these things with their rubber mounts. Use a ball end so I can kind of force it to do what I want it to do.
And believe it or not, that stupid little thing right there will save you from buying one of these for $125. And they're cheap. Uh, some guy on eBay will sell like 10 of these things for, you know, a few bucks. I bought two. I should have bought 10. Buy 10. If you use a saw a lot. Because, you know, you'll break it. But that'll keep you from breaking that. Which you can see, I didn't listen to myself. All right, now for the carbon hater. This is the original one. You remember I said earlier about the difference between a 181 and 281 is the carburetor and the linkage. This one has a little tiny piece of wire that goes here to the actual trigger mechanism over here. The 281 is this carburetor. This one has a different trigger that doesn't need that piece of wire. It just has this guy right here it pushes on this guy right here and it's actually a better system so somebody sold me this as a 181 carburetor on ebay but it actually is not i haven't gone through it yet and like everything else i've gotten from this guy this has got mud dauber mud in it so this needs to be completely disassembled and gone through so i'm not going to use it but here's the most important thing about other than what we were just talking about this guy right here this nice little metal piece does not leak very important. That's your fuel inlet. On the old 181s, you have this plastic piece here, which turns nicely, but that's got a hairline fracture in it right there, and I guarantee you that leaks. And it doesn't leak enough where it leaves a puddle of gas, but what it does do is allow the gas to go back down into the tank when you set the saw down for more than a few minutes, which means when you go to start it, you got to choke it and pull and pull and pull and pull again. So, Someday, that carburetor is going in here after I clean the bugs out of it. In the meantime, I already know this one works. I already know it's already dialed pretty close. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, put it in the saw.